Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mirela and what I do here is reviewing random products and different things. In today's video, we are going to review my favorite semi-permanent hair color and the name of it is Nuke. The color is made in Italy and I first time discovered it nine years ago when I lived uh, in Europe. Um, some of you know I'm from Bosnia and Herzegovina, but I moved to the uh, United States um, like five years ago. And ever since, I have not had access to this color until it just recently popped on Amazon. So I'm so excited to have it handy anytime I need it here. And uh, what I used to do is I would just always have my, my friends and family when they're coming to visit haul a bunch of those for me <laughs> from Bosnia. Uh, but now, um, now it's available here, and I think the, our market here should should really see what this what this color do. So I purposely didn't um, color my hair for a long time, and I let my roots grow out, so that and I let mainly I just wanted to really let it fade so that you can see the coverage that this uh, that this color do. So this is what my hair looks like right now. And you can tell it's just really, it's just really practically brown. And if I just turn off all of these lights, maybe you'll see better. You see how it's just like really, it really faded and it just like does not look good at all. I'm going to go back the lights on so that you can see also the state of my roots. Yep, see that? See that? Oh, see? so my hair is kind of really dark and you'll see what, what this can do on it. I mean, it's not, oh, all that white stuff there is not mine. I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. But uh, you will see that the, the coverage that it's gonna do there. And then you can get the idea, what can it do for your hair? So the bottle is, it's a display. It's a pump dispenser and it works really great, but because I'm going to need a lot of it, I'm just going to pour it all into, um, into a plastic container and start slapping it on. Um, it washes. It's not like the permanent hair color. It does not have peroxide on it, so it's not going to uh, damage the fibers or the, your clots or anything. You just Anything that gets dirty from it, you just, you just put it in a washer and that's it. Uh, word of caution, when you... If you end up going to bed with your hair wet after having this or, or while having this, it's going to bleed a little bit on your sheets. So again, it's washable, but just so you know, uh, if, as long as your hair is wet, you're going to be able to, to get some of, uh, some of that color on your clothing or so. Just wait till it dries. Now, let's go ahead and do this. I'm not going to do any of, a, I'm just going to put the gloves so my hands don't get too bad because I also have to re review the watch later on and I don't want it to be like red for a couple days but again it's gonna wash I, I don't do any preparation around my face like I don't put any cream or anything like that I just I just slap it on so I'm gonna go ahead and do it the way I do it and then I'm gonna show you the results it says that to keep this hair to cool it says we should well sorry for that stuttering um instructions say keep it for three to five minutes but i don't keep it for three to five minutes i keep it a lot longer like i apply it and then i go on with my business and with my day and then i just get back to it whenever i can and wash my hair when my hair was really short i ain't gonna lie to you i used to actually even fall asleep with this and then my hair would be like really soft and just gray. This treats your hair like a mask too. So I'm just gonna around here around the roots. I'm gonna use the brush because I want to make sure I get in there. But for the rest of it, I'm just gonna slap it on real roughly using my hands, and then we'll go from there. Usually around this time, I would be coloring my roots with a permanent color, which is. A different kind and I'm going to show you which one but right now I am NOT because again I wanted to show you guys the coverage that this color can do on the natural hair too because 
this is already kind of a little bit bleached, obviously. So right now I'm just going to do this, okay? I just grabbed a bunch of this little beautiful little color from my thing with my hand and I'm just gonna do that like that because again this is not the permanent color and if it drops somewhere it is just really easy to wash and it is not going to damage anything so I'm not trying to spend the whole day doing little by little I'm trying to get this done in a couple of minutes oh there was a drop on the floor but again it's okay it's gonna be really easy to clean now for my roots I usually use this um, I combine magenta and red and then because that has a peroxide to it I add a peroxide to it um, that brings out my dark color out but I don't color all of my hair with that because obviously it's going to add some damage to it and I don't want that and this semi-permanent color that I'm using from Nook is not as damaging to my hair and it just really looks good and I, you can always use it to just kind of refresh because if you're trying to do red you know that red really fades and bleeds out quickly so it doesn't stay on for long it, I mean at least it doesn't stay vibrant and beautiful for a long time and this is just the perfect way to keep on yeah there we go so that's what I'm doing okay come on let's do this yeah like that okay 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 don't want to make too much mess there was one drop I only had one drop on the floor I'm really satisfied with that now, I hope I'm getting you guys in a good angle because, all right. Now, um, also when you're showering and when you're washing your hair, not only the first time, but even the second time and the third time after applying it, it will again it will bleed during the wash and you will it will stay on your towels it will stay on your um, shower curtain especially if you're using the fabric one it will stay on your tie it will show a little bit streaks but what you want to do is make sure to just kind of rinse it off right away I, I mean well any semi-permanent color does that I think and I just really think this one is worth it. Anyways, um, I'm not going to do this for three to five minutes. I'm going to keep it a little bit longer. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my face mask. And I'm going to chill a little bit. And then I will be back to you guys with these results. And then I'm probably going to follow up again after the few washes to let you know how well does it stay on and does it bleed too much and after how many washes we actually use the the vibrance and the beauty of it but until then let me just go ahead and put on my mask and a hair clip and uh, i'll be back to you with the results hi guys so i decided to uh, bring this outside a little bit just so you can see how it looks on a natural on a natural on a daylight as you can see it's just so beautifully 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 red this is a, that cherry red that's just my favorite color uh, my roots are only a little bit pinkish 
they are just uh, I mean my gray my gray hair is only a little bit pinkish my dark is still dark so this is not going to bring out uh, your natural your natural um, if you have a dark hair it's not gonna bring out the darkness of your hair but it's just gonna give it like a little bit of a shine it's still gonna it's still gonna stay dark my white hair is as you know white hair is really dead so it does not take in this this semi-permanent color as the as the regular hair so it didn't really it only became a little bit of pinkish it nothing else nothing else happened but just one last look on the daylight and you see how beautiful that is i, I don't even think this video does it a, does it a justice but yeah that's all thank you guys for watching